Okay, boys and girls, if you are in a cold weather state, or if you do a lot of things outside in the winter, you will probably understand or know how important it is to have good, solid base layers. You'll also probably realize at some point that burrito wool base layers are some of the best out there in the business. They do a very good job at keeping you warm and they are reasonably impervious to the elements that you are surrounding yourself in, in cold weather situations and environments. So today I thought I would talk about an interesting brand that makes really good burrito wool base layers for a really good price. So without any further ado, let's jump into 365 wool or burrito wool base layers. So to start off, in the description below, there will be links to where you can get or at least see the current prices on both top and bottom base layers for this company and this type of wool or the these wool base layers here and they are going to be Amazon links because Amazon has the best prices for this particular company but this particular company is called 365 Merino Wool and I have not sponsored these guys probably don't even know who I am but I recently or rather semi recently came across this company and saw that they were making Merino wool base layer uh, clothing like you know uppers and lowers uh, that were really, really reasonably priced. And in fact, I got both of these for around $46 per piece. And that is pretty unbelievable, especially if you consider that companies or brands like Icebreakers or Smart Wool or even Wool Power uh, make base layers and their base layers are very expensive, ranging from anywhere from $80 all the way up to $150 to $130. These guys, their base layers range anywhere from $40 to $80 and so prices do fluctuate and vary of course but overall you can find their base layers this uh, 365 uh, merino wool company for around half the price now that obviously does bring up a lot of questions you know like how good is the actual wool how well does it hold up and of course like i said i semi recently found this company so i haven't uh, had the best chance or i haven't been you know running this these base layers for years but i have been wearing specifically this uh, top but even the bottom for almost every single day for three weeks straight I've ran both of these through the washer and dryer a couple times to see how they would hold up to see you know if they would start falling apart or degrading and uh, as you guys can see though this uh, upper especially is kind of a hair magnet as wool tends to be uh, honestly the quality and the uh, stitching everything seems to be holding up very well on these of course they do get a little bit fuzzy after their first wash like most wool garments but aside from that they are still very soft very comfortable and uh, I should say soft for wool merino wool is still just a tiny bit itchy at least to me but uh, it is still very comfortable and by no means is it like super scratchy and most importantly it is also very warm now both of these are a 230 um, kind of fill if you will or thickness um, so they are what you'd consider a mid-weight wool. So these aren't super heavy, but they are also not super lightweight either. In addition to that, uh, I haven't really experienced any stretching out with them. Of course, wool is already a very stretchy material, but it has good bounce back and it's not stretching out really at all. So everything seems to be going good. You know, the stitching around the thumb hole loop is just fine. And uh, yeah, I've tried to wear these, like I said, every day in just in a numerous uh, different types of situations in how you would probably wear it base layer underneath winter gear and just every day around the house. And they do a good job at, like I said, keeping you warm, keeping you comfortable and overall being good, solid base layers, if a little bit hair magnet E. Uh, but overall, they're both pretty good. Like I said, this is the upper. These are thermal leggings or long underwear, whatever you'd like to call them. And they're also doing just fine and uh, no real complaints. Obviously, they're holding up very well. The gray here does also look a little bit better at uh, you know not showing as much hair as it might actually have on it. But uh, like I said, there's really no um, lack of quality in them. And honestly, for their price especially, I think the biggest thing that really kind of shocked me is, you know, these things, 
or these base layers are ma made in China, but so honestly are the icebreakers, um, smart wool, you know, like all these different base layers that are made out of wool are also made in China too. And the thing that kind of surprised me the most with this company is that I honestly holding up my icebreakers to these, I really couldn't tell a difference in the fabric outside of like colors. Um, they looked or felt rather the same type. So lastly, the biggest shock that I have to say about these and why I really do like this uh, company and why I think you guys should check out uh, 365 Merino if you guys are looking for more affordable base layers for your clothing or for wool base layers is I do have, you know, icebreaker merino wool garments and such and holding up the two wools, you know, they're about the same weight and I really can't tell a difference outside of maybe coloration. Uh, they feel the same thickness, they feel the same quality and they wear about the same. And so honestly, you know, both being made in China, they could honestly be coming out of the same darn factory just under a different uh, brand name and for a much much more reasonable price so if you guys are trying to look into you know base layers that are made out of wool for especially hiking hunting you know camping out in the winter or in cold climates or cold seasons uh, these are really good these seem to be really good and I will certainly update this video or update the description if anything changes but overall I've been pretty darn impressed with this company and would highly recommend that you guys take a look at 365 Merino and check out the links in the description below to find the uh, current prices but they are pretty darn affordable and very reasonable uh, so yeah anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video as always God bless and I'm out